Well, today on Sunrise is a unique day as we look back on our Bill Brown. After 32 years here on WJAC TV and the 6 News Sunrise Show, Bill is hanging up his microphone. Join us all morning long for two hours packed with surprises as we take a special look back on his time here and his impact on us. 6 News at Sunrise. Coverage you can count on in high definition. Starts now. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Glad you're starting your day off with 6 News at Sunrise. It's going to be an interesting one for me, I think. Today is Wednesday, February 25th. I'm Bill Brown. And I'm Lindsay Ward. Thanks for starting your morning off with us. And I have to say, the morning is starting off to be a pleasant one, Bill. Oh, I, mean, absolutely. I mean, really, it's, we're not in the negatives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me just say this first of all. I think we should put up that old slide, the trouble's not in your set, and go party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, reason to celebrate because the weather is a little warmer. We're as much as 36 degrees warmer now than we were yesterday in most areas. So I'll show you that in just a minute. We have some snow out there. It may not be snowing in your area, but we are looking at a couple of snow showers. And we're going to take a look at uh, Bill right now. Is uh, What are we doing? We're going to look at Bill. There's Bill. Bill? <laughs> Now for one last look at weather conditions today. We are looking for a good deal of clouds and uh, there is the chance of a couple of showers around as well. Our high reaching 59 degrees. Tonight will be cloudy with a few periods of rain. The low falling off to 48. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, windy with showers. There's the possibility of a thunderstorm late as well. Tomorrow's high should get up to about 66 degrees. I think Bill should come over here and give it a shot now, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. We have snow moving in, little snow around Dubois. We have some traveling back into parts of uh, the, the Laurel Highlands as well. Nothing big time. May put down a quick coating, maybe a burst of snow across the area. We'll even see some sunny breaks. This front's coming through. Lake Erie is completely frozen over. Even though we have a strong northwest flow coming up, and there are your temperatures and wind chills, we're not looking at anything really severe. Winds out of the west becoming more northwesterly as the front pulls in here, gusting to 20 miles per hour or thereabouts today. But again, no real lake effect set up. Usually that would be the case. We get pummeled by snows if Lake Erie was unfrozen. But that's not the case. Finally, we see a little break in the action. 20 in Johnstown is the wind speed. That's about the max right now. Notice the cold air in the Great Lakes. This is one more shot coming in for the next few days. But telltale signs of better things to come. There's milder weather as you look down south. And this trough is going to dig its way out of here at long last and give us some milder weather. And I'll show you that in my seven day. But first of all, it's off to school. And we're talking about temperatures in the teens this morning with very little wind chill. And we'll see very little rise in temperatures today, right around 22 to 25 degrees, often on snow showers. Not bad for a Wednesday, but it will get colder. And I'll show you that seven day forecast in 10 minutes. Back to the news desk. Well, it's a fire department's worst fear responding to a call involving one of its own. A Cambria County Department dealt with that just on Monday morning, and now it's mourning the loss of one of its brothers. The Cambria Township Fire Department in Culver was called to a car accident around 7 in the morning on Monday on Reese Avenue. Inside that car was David Sitko, a member with the department since 1968. Fellow firefighters say he was in cardiac arrest and they rushed to help. He was later taken to the hospital where he passed away. We basically spring into action and uh, you kind of almost tend to do it a little more passionately. It was a pleasure being around him. Uh, he, one of the positions he held here that he was extremely passionate about was fire police captain. Friends and co-workers call Sitko a humble, kind man. Tonight at 7, a traditional service will be held in honor of him. It will be at the Matavish Funeral Home in Evansburg. Now into Somerset County, where a firefighter who suffered an apparent heart attack has passed away. It was a fire police uh, uh, say that should never have happened. The uh, <clears throat> started in the backyard of a house along Park Avenue in Somerset Borough back in November. Firefighters say the homeowners were attempting to burn old papers and magazines and left it alone. The wind caused the fire to spread. One of the firefighters, Edward Roddy, collapsed and went into cardiac arrest. He ended up visiting several hospitals over the past few months, but passed away on Sunday. An autopsy was scheduled to learn more about what led to his death. He leaves behind a wife, two children, and several stepchildren. Right now in Somerset County, police have nabbed a second man accused of trying to steal an ATM. 
Police say Trevor Merkel was taken into custody yesterday after he and two other people tried to take an, an ATM outside the First Commonwealth Bank on Penn Avenue uh, in Jerome back in December. Police had three people tried to put a chain around the automatic teller machine and drive away with it, but were unable to do so. Billy Nail has already been arrested in connection with the crime. Officers are now looking for one more person. New at sunrise, we sludge through it and we drive through it, right? We're talking about the snow and the ice, of course. That's right. But what about the salt and the brine that goes on the road? It's there to keep us safer, but what kind of damage is it doing to our cars? Our Erica Standish talked with an expert on that and joins us now with more on how we can possibly keep our cars to look nice yeah. and not roughed up. Erica, good morning. Good morning, guys. Now, with winter in full force now and road crews out prepping the roads with salt practically every day, you might not realize how much damage that salt is causing for your car. While road salt is safe for winter driving, it's also extremely corrosive and can cause extensive damage to cars. There's a high amount of calcium in the salt they use today. It eats away steel. And the uh, steels that we use today are nowhere near what they used to be. So, choose right through it. The biggest threat salt poses to your car is rusting, which can happen almost anywhere on your vehicle. Anything that's unpainted underneath the car, mufflers, uh, brake lines, uh, like I said, rotors, brakes, uh, even the inside of doors I see a lot, uh, mostly on the driver's side because it's the side that faces traffic. You'll see the insides of the door actually rusting out. Taking your car to the car wash is the best thing you can do to wash off the salt to avoid any rotting or corrosion. It's the best thing you use a pressure hose and get in there and blast that out of there. You don't have to wash your whole car, so don't freeze up. Just get all that build up out of there. To prevent salt from eating away at your car during the winter months, officials recommend putting a coat of wax on or take it to the shop to get rust proof. Get a good coat of wax on it. That helps prevent any of that salt from actually eating down into the paint and anything like that over the winter. And if you've noticed the inside of your windshield fogging up, you don't need to worry that something is wrong or needs replaced. It's because of the moisture that was on their shoes and then they're running their heat in their car, which puts moisture in the air and it settles on the window. Even though it's February, winter isn't over yet. If you don't have snow tires on, you can still get them. If you don't have winter tires, it's still not too late to get winter tires. <laughs> Now, the most important thing when you're out driving in this winter weather is that you're safe and your car comes next. But it's days like today that you might want to take your car through the car wash and get all of this extra salt off your car, and especially what's underneath, because you don't want that to rust later on and have to pay for those damages later. I'll bring you more in the next half hour. Reporting live in Cambria County, Erica Stanish, 6 News. Some good tips there. Definitely now that it's warmer out, getting your car cleaned off is a good idea. Thank you for that. All right, now to our top story today, which is sitting right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people wonder how the news biz really works here. And, well, to show us, it's our bill. Live from Johnstown. Six o'clock and all across the Allegheny Heartland, people are tuning in for the news of the day. This is News Center 6. Good evening. The fate of the Bethlehem Steel Bar Rod and Wire Division is... This 30-minute broadcast is the culmination of a day-long effort that actually began here. It starts with, with assignments. It starts with people calling us and telling us things that are happening. It starts with assignment editors and producers and the news director sitting down and deciding what should be covered and how it should be covered. And then there are the, the, the reporters going out and doing the job. Unlike the other media, television reporters must work in conjunction with another person, a photojournalist. The reporter tells the story with words, the photojournalist with pictures. And because television is a visual medium, the pictures take precedence. If videographers weren't around, we'd be a radio station. So the ideal situation is to go out and shoot your video, come back, present it to your reporter, and then he writes a story around what you have. But the job is made more difficult because some stories simply aren't visual. A lot of times people are talking about a tax increase. Well, where is there a picture of a tax increase? I can't pick it up and say, well, here it is. I mean, that just doesn't work. So that is a problem. And complex issues are often hard to explain within television's tight time constraints. And then I have to talk about it in a minute and 15 seconds or maybe a minute and 30 seconds or whatever it is. Sometimes that's not a lot of time to convey very complicated issues. So I try to get it to be as, as simple as possible. Those, of course, are the shortcomings of television, but its strength more than compensates for its weakness. That cock of the eyebrow, the, the teary eyes, the things that come across in an interview, all those nuances that you just can't possibly put in words. 
you can get all of that in television. Can't go into the detail that some print can, but then again, we, we, can, we can show there are no lies. You, you get what you see, and that's something I don't think you can get in, in print. As we have seen, each of the media has impact in its own way, which only enhances the natural competition between the three of them. Tomorrow, in the concluding segment of our extra, we'll focus on that competition. For New Center 6, I'm Bill Brown. A lot of that holds true today. Oh, you know, absolutely. it's very visual medium. And mm -hmm. That's so. true. But now it's inst instantaneous. Back in the day, it was yep. videotape, and before yep. we got in the business, film. film. So mm -hmm. yeah. it was an art form. I just loved in the end where you immediately said nice hair. You had the perfect anchor hair. I just, it was nice to see all those people that were in that story. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those were people that I started with, so. And yeah. people that still work here today, yeah, like that very first guy in that mm -hmm. shot. Did you miss that, with the stash and the hair? So, yeah. How could you miss that? Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, the time right now is 510, 19 degrees outside and still ahead at sunrise. Oh, uh, we just got to continue to honor you, Bill. We hear from a special someone that you may find familiar. We'll have that more just after the break. Now, your severe weather Team 6 forecast in high definition. It's a Wednesday morning and we have another Arctic front pressing in. Temperatures will fall once again late today. Snow showers today, tomorrow, perhaps even into Friday morning. Turning milder though, with a chance of snow, perhaps some ice late Sunday into Monday. We'll get to that right now. The big deal is how much milder it is. Briefly milder. 19 Dubois, Johnstown, 23 Indiana. We have 25 in Huntington this morning. Look how much warmer we are than yesterday with record cold and the minus teens. We've warmed up 36 degrees in Indiana, 24 degrees in Johnstown. Westerly winds helping the process there. Anywhere from 10 to 20 today. We're tracking some pockets of snow. Not a lot there, but it could be a quick burst, enough to whiten the roadways or slicken things up briefly. So be prepared for that. Even though it's not snowing now, we have a chance for some today. High today in State College, 23, 26 for Huntington. Very little temperature change, pretty much holding in the low 20s across the Laurel Highlands. Here's my forecast today. Eight above tonight as temperatures gradually fall again. Snow showers will linger off and on through the next few days, but at least uh, accumulations will be pretty much insignificant. Saturday, 22 degrees, milder weather, but late Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, we could see a little snow perhaps starting out as some ice, but temperatures are much, much milder above average. That's good. Need those above average. Yeah, it's nice to get back into more normal readings. Finally. It would be nice Nothing. to go outside without people ridiculing me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought we acknowledged that Elsa was the one that took the blame this time. That's right. Yeah. Not you. You're off the hook for just a little bit. Yeah, for another hour and a half. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All right, well, Bill and I have been bringing you Six News at Sunrise for more than three years, but if you've been a longtime viewer of Six News at Sunrise, you know I am certainly not the first to share the anchor desk with him. Bill's been anchoring Six News Sunrise beginning uh, from the beginning and caught up with some of those people that he started with, including someone we all know and love, Marianne Jacobs. This is New Center 6 Dayside Edition with Bill Brown and Marianne Jacobs. I think Bill and I were the pioneers. I think we were the first. <laughs> we were the first to get up in the middle of the night, come to work in the dark, and uh, see if anybody was watching. And uh, it was we did it. I did it for a good while with him, and I enjoyed every second of it. He was wonderful to work with. They're gonna love it down here today, Bill. <laughs> Hot is the word, but there is a nice gentle breeze blowing, and that is helping things out. If you're headed down here, I mentioned at the top of the show, maybe suntan lotion or a sunscreen, a good idea. Don't wear dark purple. It absorbs all the heat, something light and comfortable. No, no, I mean, he will be missed. There's no question about that. He's, you know, he's an, he's an early morning icon here in Johnstown. But I, I'm sure that you know that that someone will come along and will do do as good a job, and maybe not quite as good a job, but will get the same kind of support from the community that he has always had. Looks like it should be a very nice day. All right, good. Thanks, Marianne. That does it for our first edition report on this Friday morning. We hope your day is a pleasant one. Sleep in as often as you can. Retirement is not going to be as simple as you think it is, and you're not going to want to. He's not going to want to just. Wake up in the morning. Well, I, know, I know he's going to want, in the nice weather, wake up in the morning and go play golf and things like that. But have something going on in your life to make, you know, when you open your eyes in the morning, I have to do this, 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 and this. And, and that's the best way to do it. Because I think to go from all of this to just go to a, a very sedentary, you know, kind of a, a lifestyle is going to be, is tough. It would be tough. And it's not him. Bill, I wish you a long 
happy, and healthy retirement. You've earned it. You deserve it. I hope you and Kathy just, you know, have a wonderful, wonderful life. And um, I hope I get to see you every once in a while, too. Maybe for lunch soon, too. Uh, you know, uh, your treat. <clears throat> your it's treat. a deal. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Mary Ann's one of the great people that I ever worked with. She was wonderful to work with. I loved seeing you lugging around that camera on your shoulder. and <laughs> That, that was, was some a good shots. bizarre story we did once. <laughs> And I just want to mention that Marianne remains very active, juggling her busy calendar. Now, in between, she finds time to even narrate mm -hmm. audiobooks. How I always wonder how people get into that. That's really interesting. But her favorite moments are those spent with her family, including her six grandchildren. Wow. So congratulations to her on that. But this is how old I am. I remember when her kids were little. Real so, little? Yeah. Some great times, though. It's interesting to see the old sets and the old equipment, too, mm -hmm. how, how we've changed. Yeah, even the styles, the clothing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the hair. Some else. And the hair. We mentioned that <laughs> little earlier. Sure. Yeah. All right, now here's a live look you're taking outside. This is Altoona Tower Cam. And of course, we'll have more news for you. And this, of course, is a very special show honoring our very own Bill Brown. We'll have more on his past coming up. Stay here. Now, your severe weather Team 6 forecast in high definition. Welcome back. 520, another Arctic front is blasting through the area. Behind it, another shot of very cold air to round out the work week. A couple of snow showers will still linger off and on, and we'll see that uh, pretty much the rest of the week. Nothing more than insignificant accumulations. You see snow moving in right now from Dubois back to uh, Katanning and southward. You may get a burst of snow that will slick in roads, but really, that is about it. Today, little temperature change. We could pick up a degree or two, about 22. We'll fall to eight tonight. But another shot of cold air moves in. We could see as cold as perhaps five below when you get up Saturday morning. But at least a little sun will look pretty nice. I think we salvage a lot of Sunday. Late in the day, we'll keep a close watch on a system that could bring us a little ice and a little snow. But uh, everybody is rejoicing because temperatures will be above freezing, above average, by the way. So that's looking pretty good. Our averages start to rise now. About 35 is the average. Well, it's about time. Well, we deserve yeah, it, don't we? Jeez, Jim, where, where, where have you been the past few weeks? <laughs> Messenger. Messenger. <laughs> this is true. All right. Sorry for giving you a hard time. All right, now we continue to look back on Bill's career. Uh, she was part of the longest running morning news team during a time when the newsroom transitioned from typewriters to computers. Yes. I can't even imagine. In those seven years anchoring Six News at Sunrise, Bill and Lisa Stofko, one of our favorite people on the whole planet, shared a lot of laughs. Working with Bill was a lot of fun. It's not that we didn't take our jobs seriously. We did, certainly in this business you have to. But he didn't take himself seriously or too seriously our time now, uh, now five and a half uh, before the uh, hour <laughs> i had a little trouble okay. with that. our time now six and a half hour, uh, six and a half minutes before the hour <laughs> having trouble with this for some reason for the <laughs> I past know you are. i don't know why you know i had a habit of giggling and it didn't have to be a big thing um it, and the viewer may not even have been aware that something went wrong but i had a really bad habit of laughing and i would pull him down with me and i mean you may look at him and think that he's you know he's the straight man but um when you get bill laughing i mean it, it's hard to stop <laughs> kind of curl around yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get that later <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take temperatures? Okay, temperatures. Um, I will. I will miss him because he has been a, um, a a steady force in Johnstown, delivering the news. Not just in Johnstown, but in, but throughout um, this viewing area for so many years. And people, you know, people looked to him uh, to see what was happening in the day and and around the community and around the world. And they trusted him. And. Um, I did too, and I think it will be sad that he's no longer there. Bill, I never got to say um, goodbye and thank you for all the years that we co-anchored together. That last day that was the day that I went into labor with my son, and um, so we never got to have that final co-anchoring time together. But I just want to say thank you for all of the wonderful memories that, that, um, that we had, the fun times, um, the times that were serious, that we were able to work through them together. and. Um, and just to say, you know, best of luck to you, and I hope that you enjoy retirement, and um, I know that you have a lot more to give uh, in whatever you choose to do next. 
Now, we just want to mention for the past nine years, Lisa has worked as a grant writer. She and her husband still call Johnstown home. Her son, Lucas, is now 14, and her daughter, Anna Lynn, is 11. Jen said it before. She is one of the greatest people on the planet Earth. Uh, just, I, I can't say enough about Lisa. She was yeah. so much fun to work with, and we had such a good time. And, and you remember, she oh, yeah. was supposed to be here. Uh, she worked right up until she until gave birth. <laughs> it was crazy. She was supposed to, she, the, the next day was her last day, and she went into labor. And wow. then that was it. She was done. And, and we, like she said, we never got to really, like, say goodbye on the air. But you always mentioned to me she always had a giggling thing yeah, going she, on. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't When keep she would laugh, it she would try to cover it up by <laughs> yeah. coughing, and that was kind of the, the, the cue that, Something was up with Lisa. I found her Achilles heel. She hates spiders. Well, oh, a drawer full of little rubber spiders. Uh -oh. Jim used to scare her on yeah. the set here, just, <laughs> just little spider. spiders around. All right, we'll have much more. Keep it here on 6 News at Sunrise. Wow. This is like... Uh, Travel back in time. It really is. Kind it's of thing. Like, this is your life, Bill Brown, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of strange, but it's so great to see all this, these people. Yeah. You know, I, and uh, have nice comments from two of the nicest people that I've ever known. That really means a lot. I, I love how just the way things have changed from 20-some years ago to where mm -hmm. they are today. It's, it's amazing. It, you look back and like, really? <laughs> yeah, there have been some groundbreaking things done here over the years. And I yeah, some first of with uh, early yeah. morning news, first with... Um, I think we were the first to go uh, high definition. Right. Yeah. And um, I mean, there's others. First, first in stereo, in stereo. That's right. I think yeah. One of the first NBC affiliates to go full time color at one point. I think that was way back in the 60s. Right. I'm not sure. That's pretty but, awesome. Yeah, there's a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of, a lot of firsts here. Absolutely. Yeah. And I've been lucky enough to be in on it. So, yeah, thank you. All right, our time, 528 right now, 19 degrees outside. Still ahead in 6 News at Sunrise. All right, back to news. Harsh statements and ESPN commentator feeling the heat for bashing Penn State and Thon, the punishment he received from his higher-ups.